Hey, Madeline. Are you free to talk? Because I need to tell you something. I want to break up with you. What? Joshua, are you drunk or something? Why do you want to break up with me all of a sudden? We've been together for almost three years. I'm sorry to end things this way, but I haven't been happy in our relationship for a while now. I care about you so much, and I hate that this is going to hurt you, but I think we should end things for a while. Wow. That sounds like a random message you copied on the internet. I could tell this was going to happen judging by how you were acting, but I can't believe it's real. Why do you want to do this? I know this is harsh, but I just don't love you anymore. What? Okay, just tell me what made you stop loving me, Joshua. I know there must have been something. I told you, I just don't love you anymore. Do you really think that I'm going to believe that ridiculous reason? No way! Was it another girl? Or did your mother tell you to break up with me because she found you a better option for your future wife? If you don't tell me, I'm coming to your office right away! All right, all right. There is a girl, okay? I love another girl, and I'm going to marry her. That's why I have to break up with you, even though I really love spending time with you. Sorry, Madeline. You're just not good enough. What the hell is going on? You've been with another girl while dating me? You bastard! Hey, you can't blame me. She's hot and rich. How can I resist such an attractive woman? If she were a man, I bet you couldn't say no either. I'm not like you, Joshua. I would never cheat. Who is that girl? You better tell me before I find that rat by myself. Don't you dare call her that. She's much better than you. What? Are you kidding me? Tell me now. Okay, okay. You'll know about our wedding anyway. It's Delilah, the daughter of the company's owner you're working for. Oh my god. This certainly clears things up. You chose an heiress over me, your girlfriend? You're such a greedy bastard, Joshua. Hey, I chose what was good for me, okay? Look at yourself. You only have a good-looking face. What else do you have? Money? A rich family? A luxury boat? Nothing. You're too poor to be my wife, Madeline. You're no one to judge me. You're not even making as much money as I do. But I have a rich fiancé who's going to inherit the whole company you're working for. That's the difference, little girl. Just so you know, we're getting married next month. After that, I'll have a position in the company. And of course, my rank will be higher than yours, because I'll be the husband of the CEO's daughter. That won't change how useless and disgusting you are, though. You can't even find a job by yourself, and need the support of your mistress to get the job. That's so pathetic. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and talk down to me. But once I start my work, you'll wish you've never said anything, Madeline. I'm happy that I've seen what you're really like, Joshua. She must have accepted your proposal, so you were in a hurry to break things off with me, right? Yes. I'm a careful man, you know. I won't risk everything at once. I didn't break up with you just in case Delilah denied me. But luckily, she fell in love with me so hard that she said yes instantly. Did she know that you were still in a relationship with me then? Of course she did. Who do you think started taking action first? That's crazy. How could she do that to her employee? Why not? She's beautiful, rich, and powerful. She can do anything to get what she wants. That's why I was attracted and decided to marry her by all means. When did you two start your disgusting affair? I guess last summer, when I joined your company trip. She was hitting on me the whole trip. After coming back to the city, she called me. And things kept going so smoothly that I almost forgot that I had a girlfriend. Almost a year? Wow, I cannot believe you, Joshua. Don't be mad, honey. I'll be a nice boss. I'll support you and help you get promoted because you used to be my girlfriend. Cut the crap. I won't let your stupid scenario happen. I'll quit my job before that. Wow. I figured you'd be upset, but you don't have to go that far, Madeline. You don't have to quit your job. It's not that big a deal. You're making me seem like a horrible guy who forces his girlfriend to quit her job at his fiance's company. I don't want that. Oh, I won't quit because of you. Actually, I've always wanted to quit this job to follow my dream, but I didn't have any chance or any reasons big enough. But now, I have one. Thanks for helping me make up my mind faster. What are you talking about? Thanks, Joshua. Yes.
thanks for being an absolute bastard, so that I could open my eyes before it was too late. No, you have to work for me, Madeline. Don't tell me what to do. We're done, you cheater. Hey, Madeline. It's Delilah. Well, I think I should introduce myself as Joshua's fiancé now. Hey, Delilah. Why are you texting me all of a sudden? If you want to ask about my relationship with Joshua, we broke up. Congrats. Now you can have them all to yourself. So get out of my life. Both of you disgusting cheaters. Oh, come on, Madeline. You know that even if you didn't want to break up, Joshua would end up marrying me because I'm an heiress and you're just a tiny servant in my company. No one would choose you. <laughs> you're right. Thank God he didn't choose me because I don't want to have a lousy cheater as my husband. Don't you know the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater? I bet he'll cheat on you too sooner or later. Only if that partner is poor, but I'm not. My dad is super rich and I'm going to inherit his big company. So Joshua will have to be faithful to me if he wants to have a luxurious life with mansions and brand new cars. It's so obvious that he would never dare to cheat on me as he did to you. That's the difference between us, Madeline. An heiress and an employee. We all know who wins. We'll see. Oh, but you said one thing wrong. I'm not an employee in your dad's company anymore. Yesterday was my last day at that company. To me, you're no more than a cheater. You're as awful as my ex-boyfriend. No doubt that you two belong together. Ah, uh, you witch! Don't act like you're the winner, Madeline. You lost, sucker. I stole him away from you with a snap of my finger. I am way better than you. Now you lost your job and your boyfriend. You poor thing. <laughs> I can't believe you're so shameless. You're even bragging about your filthy achievements to your victim. You and your fiancé suck. Uh, what? How dare you talk to me like that? I order you to apologize to me right now. No way. That was the truth. Why should I apologize for saying the truth? Maybe you should order yourself to apologize to me. You're the one who ruined my relationship, you cheater. Uh, I'll make you pay for this. You can be sure of it. Oh no. What are you going to do? Fire me? Oops, sorry. Looks like I'm one step ahead of you because I'm not your employee anymore. And even if I were, you'd have no right to fire a dedicated employee like me. You better focus on learning how to run a company before inheriting it, rather than goofing around with your employee's boyfriend, Miss Cheater. Ugh. Joshua chose me over you. I'm the winner. You lose and you suck. Okay, I'm done. I cannot take another second of you whining. Bye, Miss Cheater. Uh, no, I'm not done yet. Madeline, answer me. Madeline! Hey, Madeline. Long time no see. How are you doing? Who's this? Jeez, you deleted my number? It's Joshua, your ex-boyfriend. Oh, sorry, my bad. I forgot to block your number. See you later. What? No, no, no. Please don't block me. I want to talk to you. This is very important. Okay, I'll block you anyway. So I guess there's no harm in giving you your last words. What is it? I heard you've just come back home from France, right? That's right. Were you abroad the whole time after our breakup? Oh, was I supposed to inform you of my whereabouts, Joshua? You're not my boyfriend, okay, dude? I know, and that's actually why I'm so regretful now. Honey, I'm so sorry for cheating on you. I was stupid and made a huge mistake. Please forgive me and take me back. I really love you. I can't live without you, honey. <laughs> Joshua, it's been five years. What makes you think I'd take you back now? Bay, I'm being very serious right now. It's been five years and I still can't forget you. I've been missing you every single day. Why don't you give me a second chance to make our relationship work? How about a date tonight? I'll go pick you up at seven. What on earth are you talking about? Aren't you married to your beautiful and powerful heiress? Yes, you remember Delilah, right? I got married to her five years ago. But it doesn't change the fact that I love you. Only you, Madeline. You love me? Oh, please, don't make me laugh, Joshua. Yes, I still love you. I lost my joy and smile without you. After you left, I realized that I found true love in you 
but I ruined it. Please accept my apology, Bay. Well, the old me would have been very happy to receive this message. Then come back to me. I'll treat you better, I promise. It's pitiful that you're crawling back to me after five years. But I'm not surprised. Why? I know that all you care about is money. You're only coming back to me because Delilah's dad's company went bankrupt two months ago, making Delilah poor, right? Well, yeah, you're right. After the bankruptcy, the company was sold to the new owner. They kept all the employees, but some people were demoted. That included me. It sucked. If you were skilled, you would have been kept. But I see that you still, in fact, do not have any skills. Well, I don't mind. Because now I have you, darling. I'm telling you again, I truly love you, Madeline. I chose Delilah because she was rich, you know? But she also has an extremely terrible personality. I'm sick of her. Especially after the past two months. It's been horrible. I miss you and the way you were treating me, Bay. You have the wifey material that I need. You said that we're a good match, and I still believe that we are. I'll divorce Delilah and marry you. Oh, hell no! Please don't say that. That freaks me out. I'm getting goosebumps already. Joshua, why don't you find another heiress to be your new wife? I'm not rich enough to meet your qualifications. You told me that, remember? Oh, come on, Madeline. You don't have to hide everything from me. I heard that you're coming back to manage a company in the city. You're apparently making millions of dollars, right? Well, if you've already known about my job, have you heard about my family? Did you also know that I'm married now, Joshua? What? You're married? There's no way you're married to another man and not me. Don't talk nonsense. Why do you think I couldn't marry another man? Because you loved me. You said you wouldn't marry anyone but me. That was the old me. I don't love you anymore, Joshua. I forgot you and moved on way more quickly than I thought. And now I'm happily married, so please stay away from me. My husband doesn't want me to be involved in a relationship with his employee. Huh? Did you say his employee? What do you mean by that? You heard what I said. My husband is the new owner of your company. What? Are you sure? There's a rumor that the new boss is a woman, not a man. That's correct. I'm in charge of the company, but the ownership belongs to my husband. Wow. I'm very surprised, Madeline. You're way more precious than I expected. Okay, I've made up my mind. About what? About our future. Madeline, you will divorce your husband, and then we will get married. Are you insane? Do you really think that I would drop everything in my life to get back with you? No, trust me. This is the perfect plan for our future, honey. Listen, you'll divorce and take half of your husband's assets. He could buy the whole company off Delilah's family, so he must be super rich, right? And when I say half of his assets, I mean the company you're going to manage. Then we'll get married. We'll live a happy life together forever, honey. What do you say? I say go to hell! Joshua, you're so much more deranged than I thought. I don't understand how Delilah could deal with such a clueless husband like you for five years. That's just sad. What's wrong with you? The plan is great. You can't say no to it. Okay, you know what? I think I've had enough of talking to you, Joshua. Bye! No, wait, please. Listen to me. I need you, Madeline. Please, marry me. If you're still mad because I chose Delilah over you, don't worry. I'll divorce her right away, okay? Listen. The first thing I'll do when I go to my office next Monday is fire all the useless employees. If you don't want to lose your job, you better focus on how to keep your work done on time. No, you can't fire your future husband. I'm also the future owner of the company once you've got a divorce and get the company. If you keep talking crazy like this, don't bother coming into work next Monday because the termination letter will be sent immediately to your mail. Don't doubt that I will do that. Oh, fine, I'll stop. But I won't give up, Madeline. You'll regret letting me go today. Oh, well, poor me. I guess I'll spend the rest of my life regretting then, won't I? <laughs> Bye, Joshua. Madeline, how dare you come back and ruin my life? Who's this? It's Delilah, Joshua's wife. You two are so meant to be, honestly. I've just finished with the husband, and now the wife comes. Perfect. Who else should I expect to talk to on a Saturday afternoon? Your father? 
Joshua said that you would be the new chief of my company because your husband bought it. Is that right? Yep. A hundred percent correct. Oh my god, Madeline! Why did you do this to me? Huh? Do you mean why I let you steal my ex-boyfriend, Joshua? Well, it's been years, so you don't need to thank me. No! You stole my company, and now my husband! Excuse me? I stole your husband. Yes, you did! Joshua asked me to sign the divorce papers right after texting you. Why did you come back all of a sudden and ruin my life after five years? Why? Oh my god, I'm so sick of you both! Now you listen and you listen good, because I'm only going to say this one time. First, I didn't steal anything from you. My husband bought your company legally. And about Joshua? Well, I blocked him because he's out of his mind. There's no way I'll take him back, so you don't need to worry. I'll even thank you if you can keep him as far away from my family as possible. Second, you're just as clueless as your husband, Delilah. Do you really think that it's okay to steal, but it's illegal and immoral if someone gets back at you? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I was always a pretty wealthy heiress with a handsome husband and luxurious life. But you came back and took away everything from me. If it hadn't been for you, my husband wouldn't have asked to divorce me. It's all your fault, Madeline. I know you planned all of this to take revenge on me, you witch. You know what? I haven't even taken my revenge yet. But you seem to be pretty good at losing almost everything in your life anyway. What if I were to start my revenge now? Do you even have anything else to lose? What? Are you looking down on me? Ah! <gasps> Just because you're married to a rich husband doesn't mean you're better than me. You're no more than a gold digger, Madeline. Let me tell you something. Once I take back everything that you stole from me, I'll surely make you pay tenfold. No, make it a hundredfold. You want to know? If you had been determined like that with your work, your company wouldn't have gone bankrupt. <laughs> Delilah, you are just a spoiled heiress who thinks everyone will do what she says. But if you don't change, you'll be the only one who gets hurt badly. You're not my mother. Don't pretend to be a good person to me. I don't need your pity. Well, I can't say I didn't try. I'm done talking to you. Good luck, your majesty. No, I'm not done yet. I'm still talking. How dare you cut me off? Madeline? Madeline!